In this session, let us learn what is a list, how to create a list, print it, access the list and to slice the list. A list is an ordered sequence of items of any data type. It can have items of type string, integer, float or a list itself. The values in the list are called elements or items. List is enclosed in square brackets and the items are separated by commas. Now let us create a list in Jupyter Notebook. I am going to type list1 is equal to, I am opening the square bracket and typing the elements 1, 2, 3. So we have three items in the list separated by commas. The name of the list is list1. It is easy to print a list. We simply have to type print list name. Now when you run this, the list gets printed. Now I have already typed a few lists and kept. List2 is an empty list, does not have any items in it. List3 is a list of floating numbers. List 4 is a list of characters and list 5 is a list which consists of strings. Now the next list that I have typed here contains another list itself as an element. Okay, so this list is called a nested list. When a list has another list as an item, we call this as a nested list. Now, let us learn to access the elements in the list. There are two ways in which we can access the elements in the list. They are list index and negative indexing. Let us first learn how to use the list index. List index is the position at which any element is present in the list. So when I am talking about position, let us take a simple list and try to understand this. Alright, so I am going to take a list called alphabet. The index starts at the location 0. So here A is located at 0, B at 1, C at 2, D at 3 and E at 4. Now, if I want E to be accessed, then I have to type print alphabet, which is the name of the list. Open the square bracket and see the location. Location of E is in 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me run this. You find E is getting accessed. And always remember that location starts from 0. What if I want to access a nested list? How can we do it? So let us take the same list and try to access the element. Now I am taking my list in this. Name is in location 0, 2021 in 1, AI in the location 2, 11.5 in the location 3 and every character of the letter python as a list in the location 4. So now if I want to access T here, how do I do it? Simple. You type the name of the list. Now this is the fourth element. Python is a list which is there as the fourth element and T is in the second location. Now, when I run this, I will be able to access the letter T, which is in the nested list. See, this is how we do this. Python allows negative indexing too. The last item has index minus 1 and the second last item has the index minus 2 and so on. 
Let us take the simple example first and try to understand negative indexing. I am going to take the list which said alphabet. Okay, I have five elements. I am going to use negative indexing and show you how to access these elements. If I want to print the first element, it would be in this case minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5. So I type print alphabet of minus 5. Now let me run this. I am able to access the letter A. Now let us try to use negative indexing for a nested list. Okay. I am taking my list again. Suppose I want to access H. How do I do it? I am going to type print my list opening the square bracket minus 1 because the list is the last element in my list. And if I want to type H and H is the third last element. Right? So I am going to type minus 3. See? I am able to access it. Now suppose if I want to print a specific range of elements from the list, then what do I do? There is an operation called slice operation in which we make use of colon sign and specify the location. I am going to take the alphabet list and demonstrate this for you. Okay, So if I want to print from the specific index till the end. Okay, suppose if I want C, D and E to be printed, then what do I do? I type print alphabet. I open the square bracket. C is in the location 2. 2 and colon. So this will print C, D and E. Suppose I want to print only C and D. In that case, what do I do? I type print alphabet starting from the location 2. I don't stop it at 3. I'll have to give the upper limit plus 1. So I'll have to give it as 4 so that it will print item 2 and item Got it? So this is like our range function only. It is always upper limit plus 1. So this is with respect to list index. Now what if I want to use the negative indexing? So I can print elements from end. I can use print alphabet minus 5 and colon prints everything minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 got it now if i want to print the list in reverse then we have an option for that also i type the name of the list there's a spelling mistake it is alphabet right colon colon minus so this will reverse and print the list. So this is all about slicing the list. So what all did we learn today? We learned how to create a list. We learned how to access the list using list index and negative indexing. We learned how to slice the list. I hope you have understood this clearly. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.